And after a record positive close in November, Nigeria's equities market opened the month of December on a negative note, decreasing slightly by 0.01% or $2 billion on Thursday. Or the Nigerian Exchange Limited, all share index and equities market, um, market capitalization decreased from 47,660.04 point and 25.95 trillion now respectively. Well, in 3,073 deals, investors exchanged about 172.8 uh, million units of shares, which was valued at 2.84 billion Naira. Well, the equities market positive return yet to date decreased to 11.55% on Thursday. So let's get talking now. Uh, Ambrose Amodian, Chief Research Officer, Investor Consulting Limited, uh, he's here perhaps uh, has a different opinion. Doctors, good to have you. Thanks for having me, Frank. Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, it, talk to, let's start from the month of November and before we can talk about how the market opened yesterday. Yeah, uh, if you look at the month of November, we say it's a mid month that closed positive. Mm. Before the month almost recovered all the market loss in the month of October, it's a good sign that the bull is setting up for a new stage for the investor to enjoy. But one thing that, you know, when investors see this kind of market, at the beginning of December, seeing a flat market, you know, they tend to start, oh, is it another correction? No. Market is still forming a, a double top, like I said, you know, previous that which responded for two days pullback. But the good thing is that we're entering the the seasonality period that we expect mm. that, you know, the Santa Claus rally end of the quarter, end of the year will play out. Not only that, no, I tell you that in equity investment, what is very important is your you know, price and time. The price of the asset you are investing and what you tend to you know, you know, as a return and how long it takes to do that return. These are the things that are very, very key at this point. We're already at the end of the year and the company that has released the result for those that have the same buyer account, their numbers are standing, shows that this company are likely to pay a good dividend. And also compared to what inflation is doing today and interest rates still remaining you know, on the uptrend. For me, I believe that investors should look at those sectors and those individual companies that have that uh, you know, capacity to pay them good dividend at this point. But that is what will support the price. Don't forget that corporate action in any market, either international or local market, has impact on what? On movement of equity. And which means mm -hmm. that as we're entering into the, you know, the first quarter of 2023, being also the period for the you know, presidential election and all those stuff, I believe that you know, investors should take this advantage of you know, pullback we're seeing you know, at this point to buy into good stock and position for what for good return in the market because as we speak yeah. now market momentum remains very strong that means yeah. nobody should panic talk actually. to us about um, yesterday and what does this portend for the new month um you talk about santa claus rally uh, are we beginning to see perhaps uh will i say a fee, an expectation or anxiety no. of, of what is going to happen in actually, the month of actually if you look at the trend of the market for every first week of December every year, there's always a missed, a missed trend. And the market must also slow down. But as from the second week of December, it starts seeing a change in the market. And towards the end of the uh, month again, which is the end of the quarter, you also see kind of, that means what we're seeing today, uh, we see that the market was flat. And the good thing that the market was flat, we saw a missed uh, sentiment that we have uh, 51 buyers and 54 sellers in the market. That means market, that's what I wanted to show you the chart. When you look at that chart, you see what we call uh, it means that where the buyer and the seller are in the same you know, space, they will tend to come who will be the winner in the next market because they close flat. This having almost 49 percent buy, 51 percent sell. You know, uh, you can see that the balance there. Then today, we never where the market will go from here. And I said, market has formed a double top. That means if market will likely continue from this point, then we'll not see a new trend or pull back for more correction because we know that market tried to regain the previous day after two days uh, pull down on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, the market beat it out. But now we saw it flat uh, yesterday. Today, we'll damage whether market will continue uptrend from here or so pull back. For me, there's no cost for the cost. Momentum of the market is very, very strong. And some individual stock also is very strong. And if you look at the weekly chart, daily chart, and monthly chart, markets also say that there's still mm, Because I was going to go to that, please. When you look at the daily chart, for instance, uh, this is just the second trading day in the month yeah. of uh, uh, December. And like you talk about the Santa Claus rally, uh, perhaps there is a kind of jittery, or will I say a kind of um, anxiety, how that investors are going to take some um, with some fun from the market. Uh, there's going to be a, a bit of uh, you know money taking off the market. So do you think that will impact or determine 
how the market is likely to go this month? No, actually, you are, you are correct, but I won't say much like that that will determine what time is that, what is the investor's objective. So, okay. you know, end of the year is for you to position for a new year. Right. And also, unless you are the type that you are in the market for to earn and go and do Christmas. Mm. The reason why I ask that question is because <laughs> usually when it's time for Christmas, in, in the talk is that investors want to take a little bit of their funds from the market no. to uh, prepare ahead take profit, of the not, not fund, you take profit. They want oh. to say oh, your portfolio and go and eat Christmas. What you do that? If there is a regularly as we expect, mm. you can take profit and pass about the market anywhere in the world. Profit taking it's part of the market. When you make profit, if you leave your profit in the market, the same market that you also can take it back from you. That's the market go up and down. When you go up, you need to sell up. But if you say the market will come down, and that profit you have made, it become a story. That's why when you go up, just take your profit and wait for it to come down, you buy again and you sell. That's why I said, now, we're only in the last uh, month of the year. Mm -hmm. And today is the second trading day. As we speak now, market is trying to adjust up or down, as we speak. But for me, the market is setting another stage for an uptrend. Why I say so is that, you know, we have seen all the numbers for those how December year right. end. We have seen the economic data and this is the last uh, FPC meeting for any adjustment of rate. We know where the rate is now, where inflation we're all looking to see you know the inflation figure for the month of uh, November that just ended. But it means that if you look at the performance manager for November, it gives us another sign that despite the high interest rate mm. we also improve activities in the month of November for the performance manager to move to around 40 uh, 54.6 against 53.7 in October. So that that's why the hike is the rate hike. There's also improved activity. And that's all shot into this uh, mm. last quarter of the year. That first of all, you always see activities that improve. Okay. Uh, for me, investors should not worry. Always say that take position at this end of the year. Charge is telling us that market is expected to work to go up because it's taking on the last stage for uptrend. But don't forget that your plan is very, very important. Mm. Once you set a goal, when you take that goal, don't be greedy, take your profit. And also trade your plan. Don't just follow the market uh, up and now. You want your friends doing. We have different objective being the market. That means more objective to guide me. The kind of stock I should buy. No right. what Mr. E is buying. No Mr. E. No, S buy that thing that will suit your own personal you no know, mm. uh, um, objective and make money and also smart to the bank. I think a good a good place to live. Thank you so much, uh, Ambrose Modern, Chief Research Officer, Investor, uh, Consulting Limited. Always a delight to have you on the program. Thanks for having me again. Still to come after the break. Well, the federal government has cautioned petrol marketers to stop holding premium motor spirit. And, well, on the defensive side, the marketers has also blamed the government. And, of course, they are also asking the government to do something. Otherwise, the situation may get worse. Well, that's our focus next on the program. Please stay with us. <laughs> 